Can Russia survive if attacked by NATO and US fighter planes? Numerous people on both sides have died in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Russia is actively attacking Ukraine in many different ways. This raises concerns about the security and safety of Ukrainian citizens worldwide. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. We'll discuss this in today's video. Can Russia survive if attacked by NATO and US fighter planes? And stay tuned till the end of the video for some other exciting questions, like can Russian missiles defend against NATO? In comparison to Russia, how powerful is NATO? How many fighter planes is NATO equipped with? And some other factors. Hence, let's start. At a press conference, Jens Stoltenberg said that defensive preparations had been made, with more than 100 aircraft on alert and 120 Allied ships deployed from the high north to the Mediterranean displaying unwavering support for other alliance members, but not Ukraine. The NATO chief declined to respond when asked if these plans had ever been implemented in case the information wasn't already known to the general public. He stated that the NATO response force, which is 40,000 strong and includes a very high readiness force of 5,000, will be among the troops with greater deployment freedom. According to the House of Commons, this response force has never been activated since it was founded in 2003. Still, some of its components have been used to help in the evacuation of Kabul in 2021 and with natural disasters. The Alliance would first experience this if the NATO response force were fully activated. More significant troop deployments will be made on its eastern flank in the coming days, according to Mr. Stoltenberg, where security measures have increased recently. It is a component of broader lessons discovered by forces deployed in the Baltic since 2014, when Russia annexed Crimea and NATO had no presence there. Mr. Stoltenberg reaffirmed that no Allied military is already in Ukraine, despite the country's long-standing calls for NATO membership. However, a more significant presence is on its way to NATO territory in Eastern Europe. The NATO chair cited the Article 5 principle that an assault on one is an attack on all, reiterating that it applies only to fully-fledged members close to Ukraine, while penalties would primarily result from Russian aggression within Ukraine. Around Ukraine, there are 5,000 Spetsnaz Su-35, S-400, Panzer S-1 and advanced warships. Numerous countries today employ Russian air defense systems, which are also widely distributed. In addition, Many of these countries have deployed variations and started producing these weapon systems domestically. Russian Air Force doctrine at the moment uses a three-tiered strategy. Thanks to this multi-layer technology, Russian air defense forces can build impenetrable anti-access area denial A2AD zones. Long-range systems like the S-200, S-300 and S-400 are used in the uppermost tier of these defensive networks to provide air defense bubbles that might be up to 800 kilometers in diameter. How well does the S-400 Triumph air defense missile system work? Russian engineers created the mobile surface-to-air missile system, the S-400 Triumph or SA-21 Growler. It can shoot down aircraft UAV cruise missiles. It is the heir to the S-200 and S-300 and the fourth generation of long-range Russian SAMs. The mission-setting capabilities of the S-400 is nearly equivalent to those of the US Patriot system. The S-400 does not, however, currently use hit-to-kill ballistic missile defense technology, unlike some Patriot interceptors. However, Russia is currently developing the 77N6, a brand new interceptor that is rumored to take advantage of the 400 victory features of hit-to-kill technology. The S-400 Triumph air defense system consists of a multifunction radar, autonomous detection and targeting systems, anti-aircraft missile launchers and a command and control center. It has three separate missile launchers that it can use to create a layered defense. Within a range of 400 kilometers and at an altitude of up to 30, the system can engage all aerial targets including aircraft, crewless vehicles, UAVs, and ballistic and cruise missiles. 36 marks can be employed at once by the system. The S-400 can be deployed in 5 minutes and is twice as effective as earlier Russian air defense systems. It can also be incorporated into the specifications of the Air Force, Army, and Navy's present and future air defense units. The 48 and 6 missile series are principally employed by the S-400. 
With the help of these missiles, it is possible to hit airborne targets at distances of up to 250 kilometers and engage ballistic missiles at a range of 60 kilometers, both times employing a 143 kilogram high explosive fragmentation warhead. Currently undergoing testing are the 77 and 6 missile series. The 77 and 6 missiles, in contrast to other Russian SAMs, employ hit to kill technology have three rockets, and are made primarily to eliminate ballistic missile warheads. The 40N6 missile family, a long-range family that can increase the system's air defense capabilities to 400 kilometers, is the last missile series employed by the S-400. Uncertainty surrounds the 40 and 6 missiles deployment status at the moment, as well as whether the S-400's radar capabilities would permit the missile to utilize its entire maximum range. Victory Missiles S-400 The S-400 missile system uses new missile types. In addition to the S-300 PMU system's missiles, the 48N6DM48N6E3 was the first missile introduced. With a robust propulsion system, it is a better version of the 48N6M. Within a 250km range, the rocket can annihilate airborne targets. The 40 N6 missiles of the S-400 are purportedly capable of intercepting air targets at a distance of 400 kilometers using active radar homing. It can launch attacks against high-value targets like WAX J-STARS and EA-6B support jammers. Medium-range ground-to-air missiles 9M-96E and 9M-96E are also established by the S-400 Triumph. The missiles, made for direct impact, have a high chance of hitting fast-moving targets like fighter planes. The 9M96 missile has a 120km command and controls maximum range. The Euro 532301 Mobile Command Post Vehicle is the foundation for the 55K60 command and control system of the S-400 Triumph. The command post has LCD consoles to process the data from each battery's airspace monitoring system. It communicates with other batteries, manages long-range surveillance radar and priorities, and tracks aerial threats. The method may exchange data with other SA-12, SA-23, and S-300 defensive systems. Triumph Radar's S-400 The 92N6E NATO codenamed Tombstone is the S-400's fire control and target tracking radar. The MZKT-7938 times 8 vehicle serves as the basis for the radar. The tracking radar and 96I6 Cheeseborne 3D surveillance can be carried by the precise vehicle when the S-400 battery is deployed autonomously. The 8x8 trailer served as the foundation for the 91N6E significant bird acquisition and battle management radar of the S-400. Within a 600km range, the radar can identify and track aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, guided missiles, drones, and ballistic rockets. It can follow up to 300 targets at once. The vehicle is used to fire a missile system. The BAT 640226X6 tractor truck or MAZ 79100 series transporter erector launcher tells vehicle is the foundation for the SP85 TE2 launchers. Up to four launch tubes housing a variety of missiles can be carried by the TL vehicle. S400 Advancement Despite being constrained by budgetary constraints after the fall of the Soviet Union, Russia started building the S-400 in 1993. Between 70 and 80% of the technology used in the original S-400 design was acquired at home. This includes launchers, missile storage containers, and radars modified from the S-300. The S-300 interceptor variants were also intended to work with the S-400 launchers. Testing on the system started at the Russian Caspian Year missile in late 1999 or early 2000. So, that is it for today's video. Well, what are your thoughts on the Russia-Ukraine never-ending war? Will things ever get back to normal? Let us know in the comments section. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.